you want to say it, it's okay. Oh, I need to adjust. I'm Tatiana Amico, if you guys don't know, and this is... I'm Carrie Heinlein. We are going to talk to you about Snapchat. We are not going to talk about Instagram stories versus Snapchat. This is strictly about Snapchat. Kind of. Kind of. They're both the same concept. So the rules apply to both Snapchat and Instagram stories. So we're gonna call it Snapchat today. We're not gonna argue which one is better than the others. We don't even know that yet since the other one's so brand new. So concepts and how to use them, focusing on Snapchat. Yep, so we are going to talk about really quick what it is, just like seriously super quick. What do I want you all to do to learn it? Starts with a G. Um, no, but seriously, like I, I decided one night, I was like, I want to learn Snapchat um, because I saw a coach that was using it. <laughs> I saw a coach that was using it. And when I saw her, I was like, I got to get on this. So I remember I was actually at the Tony Robbins event and I couldn't go to sleep and I just started looking up YouTube videos. So I started learning a little bit. Then Carrie came over one night and talked to me a little bit about it. And then I ended up meeting her out. So it, it did not take me long to really get it. I promise you it's not as complicated as it seems. It's, I think it's easier than any other, do you? Any other like social media platform. So um, you don't have to, like, I feel like I think a lot when it comes to fa my Facebook posts and Instagram posts with this, I'm not really thinking. I'm not sure why you can't hear us. Um, so anyway, can everyone else hear us? Yeah, yeah I hear, I see her. Okay, so basically we're gonna quick, quick tutorial, but if anything, like YouTube, there's a ton of great videos. Just search how to use Snapchat. Super easy, and you'll get a bunch of videos, and it'll be. Um, what else are we gonna do? So Snapchat, basically what it is different, if you haven't looked into it at all, what it is different from Facebook or Instagram, is Snapchat is small, up to 10 second pictures um, or videos. What's nice about it is when we do a Facebook post, like Tatiana was saying, we overthink it. When we do an Instagram post, we spend forever changing the, the brightness and the shadows and the resolution, all that, trying to make it the perfect picture, putting words all over it and making it perfect because that's gonna stay there forever, right? That's gonna be stuck on social media. Um, you know, that people can go back to it, that they might stumble upon it at some point. So that really defines us for kind of the long term. What's nice about Snapchat is this is a way to not bombard people with your daily life via Facebook or Instagram. So you save much more quality posts um, for, for those platforms. But this is a way to say, hey, here's my everyday life. Here is a view into what it's like to live a life in the day of Tatiana. Live a day, like live a life in the day of Carrie Highline. See what it's like behind the scenes, not overthinking it. Seriously, just like when you're at a wedding and someone's like, hey, quick, turn around and snaps a picture. It's those quick candidates, the unthought out, un Posed. I mean, we've all probably yeah. taken a, a few shots and deleted, but for the most part, the unfiltered, unless you're using those funny faces filters, um, shots into our daily routine. Um, I know we talk a lot about, we want to show people that we're a product to the product, but we need to be careful not to bombard people on Facebook or Instagram with a picture of your Shakeology cup and a smile every single day. You're not telling them anything, you're not giving them any value, and you look like a salesperson constantly. On Snapchat, this is a view into your daily life. So every single morning, my first shot is something about how I'm feeling myself with my superfoods because I'm letting people know my daily routines. Um, so it's a little more appropriate on this platform to let people see that repetition and let people see that, yeah, you talk about it and you actually are living the life that you are trying to inspire other people to live. You know, we're not just telling them to do something, but we're doing it every single day. Um, Tatiana's going to talk a little bit more about showing your daily routine. Um, but a little bit more about just Snapchat in general. So if you haven't downloaded it, I hope knowing that this call was coming up that you guys went and at least downloaded the app on your phone. Um, 
I know a few of you commented quickly that you were um, that you were doing that right before we got on this call. So that's awesome. Except if you listen to Gary V at Summit, you probably should have downloaded it then because I feel like he gave us all a little heads up that if we weren't doing this, we had to be doing it yesterday. So Snapchat, do you have a picture of it or you just have a screen logo, right? Oh, uh, this? Yeah, turn that around. Let's show. So if you've seen people with this little yellow weird looking thing. It's hard to tell on here. Well, it's my but face. That's the Snapchat logo. <laughs> so if you're looking for it on your phone. So what this gives us an option to do is, so from your phone, if you want to go to the main picture screen. Yes. So basically you are snapping a picture just like it's with your regular camera of what's behind you or obviously you can turn it around and yeah you could turn it around so just like way. a normal camera you snap a picture or if you hold the button down you're taking a video you'll see a timer go around I think you have like 10 seconds of that video there's an option right from there to go ahead and there's kind of a blue arrow at the bottom <laughs> again might be hard to see but there's a blue arrow at the bottom so you're going to carry that over it gives you an option to add it to what's called my story or to send someone individually a personal snap. So personal snaps are kind of where Snapchat started. It's kind of like sending a text message or a text picture that's going to disappear. Um, I know when this first came out, it's been around for a little while, people always said, oh, Snapchat, you don't want to get into that. That's how people send inappropriate selfies to each other. But it's come so much further than that, uh, but because they do disappear. So if you send a message to someone, it's going to disappear in up to 10 seconds. But if you put it to my story, and this is where we see a lot more opportunity with business on here, putting something to my story, it's going to last there for 24 hours. So when people go in, just like they're going into Facebook or Instagram, there's a section on Snapchat that you can see everyone that has posted anything into a my story. And you basically cycle through. Maybe they've posted five pictures in the last 24 hours. Maybe they've just posted one. But it's just going to keep cycling person through person what their stories are. Can I, I just want to add something to that and you do we're going to talk a little bit about like not bombarding and doing too much but you do want to be consistent because you will show up in people's like kind of like a feed type thing you'll be at the top so they'll be like oh Tatiana just posted something and like go through and the cool thing is is that they're kind of like forced to go through everything versus Facebook they might just see like one random picture that you put up like yesterday, but they didn't see the other one that you really wanted them to see the day before. You know what I mean? So that's why I like it too. So when someone is going through their feed, um, there's a few functions. You can just tap on the screen. You know, we can set a picture when we take it to last from one second to 10 seconds. If you've already captured everything, you've looked at it, you've read the text that someone put on it, you're ready to move forward to the next slide, you can just tap on your screen. If you want to move past that person, we'll talk about people getting a little bit too wordy, too much, too overwhelming, where you're like, I'm done watching this person's story today. You can actually swipe and move on to the next person, or you can swipe down and get out of it all together. So people tend to just know, just they see the picture, snap, they see the picture, or tap, 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 and that's how we quickly move through the pictures and you know have a view into someone's life. But I do want to show you, so what I was talking about, how like people, I don't know if you can see, sorry, like how oh, right you up probably up. can't see. All right. Yeah, but I could see like this one girl just did eight minutes ago, then someone did one 12 minutes ago, 51 minutes ago, an hour ago, two hours ago. So the girl that did it eight minutes ago was at my top. So I, it, it says recent updates there. Um, I hope, get, if you guys, we, you know, you're going to want to take notes on this, but something that's super important that I didn't do in the beginning is in your settings. And again, make sure that you find a tutorial on this because we can't show you our screen. Okay. So in the main page, so go here, now go to the main, find your dude. So to the main page and you go to that little like at the top right, it looks like a, what is that, a screw or something. That's your settings. Make sure that under who can contact me, put everyone, view my story, everyone, because I didn't have it like that. So not everyone was seeing. Just 
not everyone was seeing my stuff and I want everyone to be able to see my stuff. So just make sure that you have that like that or there's going to be no point. Like literally I was snapping. I was so proud of myself for like three days and no one saw anything. <laughs> so just a quick. So it's basically like if on Facebook your page is blocked and only your friends can see it. You know, if that's all you want, that's great. But if we're looking at this as a business tool, which is the point of this training today, um, we want to be able to attract as many people to it. So attraction to this page, different than Facebook or Instagram, where you can maybe search hashtags or search topics or, or algorithms are going to show people in your feed that maybe you'd like to follow or show them as people you might know. There is nothing that drives people to Snapchat. There's no way to search on Snapchat of interest areas or anything like that. Basically, you have to know someone with Snapchat and they give you their snap code so you know what their code name is to write in. Or it's since it's attached only to your phone, it actually is tied to the cell phone number that's on that phone. So you are able to go in and search your friends and it knows who has Snapchat based on who has it downloaded to their phone. So then you send requests to those people. Um, so then you send requests to those people and they'll get a notification and be able to connect back with you. If all of your stuff is blocked until you both have matched, it's kind of like Tinder, until you've both matched, you can't see each other's stuff. But if you open your stuff up for everyone to see, when someone requests you, they automatically start seeing your feed. So that's what, that's what we want to make it. So if you're starting to promote it in other venues and say, follow me on Snapchat, that they see your stuff immediately, even if you haven't friended or connected with them back. Because think of someone like, someone just wrote about Sean T Snapchat. Sean T obviously does not have all of us as friends also. He didn't, it would be great if he friended all of us back. Um, but the way that he has his set up is the minute someone connects with him, they can start to see his stuff. So that's how we want to open ours up as well. Um, there's funky ways to be able to, when you're sitting next to someone, take a picture of their snap code and all that. We're not going to get into all the funny ins and outs. We're just trying to teach you the basics and how to provide good content. So moving on to the content, I know I talked a little bit before about um, being that, that spy in your house, being able to see someone's life and showing consistently that the routine that we talk about is really the routine that we're living out every single day. So Tatiana's gonna talk about really going through your day and capturing for your viewers what's going on. Yeah, so if you follow me, you'll see something that I do a lot of is I'll show my daily routine. So I'm waking up in the morning and I'm doing my morning drink. You're able to put like the time that you're waking up. So sometimes I'll joke that I slept in or like stuff like that. Like you can add little, your personality to it. I think that that's a huge part of it. Make sure you're adding your personality. So like I'll show this mug that I got, which I'm not going to lie. I got it specifically for this. And it, <laughs> it says queen of the effing universe. And I mean that, that shows me and um, it's my morning drink. And sometimes I'll say value. This is value. I'm telling them what my morning drink is, right? I don't do it every day, but some days I'll say, FYI, this is what's in this mug. And then I'll show, um, that I'm doing my gratitude journal. And sometimes what I'll do like this morning is one of the things I was grateful for yesterday was that I was able to get my husband a gift, just like randomly get him a gift. And I was never able to do that before coaching because I had no money. So I, I like kind of like, I took a picture and I kind of highlighted that. And I, I think I said like, yes, or something like that. If you, if you check, you could see what I did. So you but, can draw on the screen and yeah. you can add some different emojis. And yeah. Like that. Don't get too crazy with that, you know, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So once you start doing it, it gets very easy. <laughs> um, but just something like, like, think about that. Something like that. Someone's going to be like, Oh, you know, cool. Um, and it, it, it just, it shows what I've been able to do because of coaching. So that was just an example. Then, um, personal development, I've been reading the book, no excuses. So sometimes I'll take a picture and like maybe highlight something for someone to see. I've gotten so many people snapping me back and asking me what book it is, what I'm doing. They'll ask me like all these questions because it's intriguing to them. Um, 
I'll, you know, maybe snap a sweaty selfie or me dancing after my workout because I'm like, hey, I just got all these endorphins. And on the video, you can write, you could write something. So I'm saying I just worked out, I have the endorphins, so I'm, you know, dancing after that. Um, what else would I have been? Oh, and then just kind of showing my life. Like yesterday, I was able to just randomly go somewhere with my mom. I didn't have to stay home and work. Like I, I showed that I did, I like posted in one of my groups. Like sometimes I'll take screenshots, just a picture of uh, like say I'm posting in my client group or something like that. Of course, you could like use a little like pen thingy on there and block stuff out so you don't have to see. And you could write on there, checking in on my ladies or whatever it is that you want to say. So again, they're getting a view into your day and what it is that you're doing. And then the fact that I was just able to go do whatever the heck I wanted yesterday. So again, you're like highlighting all these different aspects of what you're doing just by taking a picture, maybe writing some words, doing a quick video. Um, today, I, I went to a motivational business development thing and I shared that I was doing that and then I just did a few it was like three videos and I just said something that I learned from that and I am just telling people you know this is just an idea of what to do motivation basically right so giving value um very important if you guys were at summit or if you've watched Gary Vee's or thing or if you have read his book jab 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 right hook <laughs> i don't know if it's a right that's cross the right hook i don't know that's the girl that did boxing for i know long. well that's why because i box i have like all these different things um so calls to action it's this actually i feel so much more comfortable on here doing calls to action because i'm like constantly talking 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 and a lot of my calls to action um are just because I'm showing what I'm doing. It's just so much easier. So um, I've done calls to action to join my free group where sometimes I'll just like maybe take a picture of my group and say, I think I wrote the one day. So uh, one of my, one of the ladies in there just told me that she got so much value out of this to join. And then I, I wrote like the, the, um, the link. And then um, let's see. So you can you can also like prep people to take a to take a screenshot of the next screen because like I said we've said it goes away in like ten seconds or how many seconds you have so you might want to prep someone hey um, and you can either do this with video or writing it out get ready to take a screenshot so for the next one they're gonna take a screenshot of your link so they have it so now they can go to it. Or, hey, make sure to turn your volume on because I do not have my volume on ever on my phone. So if people are talking, if they're doing a video, I don't see it. But, hear it. or I hear it, sorry. <laughs> but if they like were to write something on the previous picture that says, make sure your volume is on, I will turn my volume on for the next like little video. Is this making sense to you guys? Like, it might, you know, once you're on, you're gonna see what I'm talking about, but. Um, and then also like on the video, I could see, like, I could say, make sure your volume is on or for the next one or something like that, or just make it intriguing for them. Like, do you have an example of to like, make sure that they're going to watch it or see the next thing? Um, I just think that brings up a good point. So in Instagram and Facebook, how Tatiana was saying the most recent snap goes on top these stay together. So it's not that I did something right now and then. Tatiana did something a few minutes before that, all these other people, and then my next picture shuffled down to two hours ago when I put that last one. When, when she said it shuffles you to the top based on who had the most recent post, once you go into it, you're going to see my 24-hour period all together before you see the next person's. So that allows us to stack stories without interruption. So you can prep and say, you know, you're going to see this next slide or this next picture and they know that the next one is going to be so it goes through your entire 24 hours before it moves on yes. to the next person which brings us to the next point you're able to stack stories so this is a great way that you can now instead of just sharing one snapshot of your life like you might on Instagram um, now you can put together a few snapshot snapshots kind of like a slideshow and this really gives us an opportunity to do call to actions to add value um, 
or to maybe give like more value tips, things like that. So we can do it via pictures and we can do it via videos that are stacked together. Now keep in mind, these are 10 seconds at a time. So um, I'm gonna give you an example of a few different things that you can be doing when you stack the videos together. One of the first ones that I did when I started adding value on Snapchat is I was outside the grocery store and I did a quick video and said, my fridge is empty, time to go you know, fill it up, stay tuned and see all the choices I make to put in my cart. And as I went through the grocery store, I either took a video of the item and said, yep, looks good, non-GMO, something like that, or I would just snap a picture so they could see what was going in my cart. Or um, I remember I was like by the bread section, all the, the crappy bread, and I like took a picture and you could see it said breads or bakery over it, and I made a big X because you can draw on it, and I was like not going there. So it was probably, it was a little bit longer than a normal story because it was my entire grocery uh, trip, but I reduced all the snap times, so they weren't all 10 seconds, but again, people, when they're ready, they can flip through. And I made a quick little, um, you know, here's a, here's a glimpse into my grocery store trip. So we always, people always want to say, what do you do at the store? What's it like to be on a grocery store tour with you? This was a way to live bring them with you um, to the store. Um, another thing that I've done is food prep, right? You're going to build a meal. Instead of just taking a picture of the final product or instead of just putting a recipe in the comments like you would on Facebook or Instagram, this gives a way to show them picture by picture each stage. So if you know me, I do everything in a big purple bowl. So I took a picture of my empty purple bowl. The next picture was a handful of spinach and I just wrote on it spinach. And then the next pictures, they were all like an overhead shot, kind of like those tasty videos that you see on uh, Facebook. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, so each picture as you quickly went through was each layer of my salad. So it was spinach, boom, you know, strawberries, boom white beans, boom, avocado, boom, right? It was each stage and then the finished product. Um, and so that was whatever, six quick snippets that made up truly a story that added value. Um, Sarah Lang did, I think, an ebook that I had seen on hers. Um, I had her send me the info. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to download the video. But she went and she took a picture, I think, of her computer screen, and it was putting the finishing touches on my ebook, and then maybe it was one of the pages within it that you could kind of see there was some good value to, but it was more of a teaser. Um, I think she did a quick like voiceover saying, here's what's coming up, and then she said, make sure you, know, you stay tuned for the link. And it was, again, one of those hints to, on the next one, I'm going to put a screenshot, or make sure you take a screenshot so you see the actual link. And she typed out where to go to be eligible to get that free ebook. So it was a great way in like four snaps to, to tell people what she's doing, show the value, have a little teaser, and then tell them how to get it. Um, teaser, that teaser, yes. <laughs> Good word, yes. powerful word. So I mentioned that with Snapchat, people don't just find you. So you have to find a way to bring them over. So there's a way that you can actually then download your my story or your pictures and save them to your phone so what i did after that grocery store tour i think i took one picture of my final shopping cart where i had done a picture that said like hey thanks for shopping with me and i posted it over to another social media platform i said hey i just was at the grocery store i did a whole you know snap story about everything that i bought hop on over here's my snap name hop on over join me on snapchat and you can see everything i did when i made that salad i did the whole video and i made a, like an iMovie video out of it and I put it up on Facebook or Instagram and I was like, here's the quick sale that I made into my purple bowl today. Join me over on Snapchat to see on a daily basis what I'm doing, you know, for my food, my fun, my fitness and all the random stuff in between. So it gives them a little hint of what they're gonna see if they come over. So I've made a lot of posts on regular social media using maybe a picture from Snapchat um, and giving them Again, a teaser on why they should join me on Snapchat. You know, Facebook now has the perfect pictures, the great little quality stories, this, that. But if you want all the fun stuff that goes on behind the scenes, you're going to join me over here. Um, same thing with like Nashville. Hey, I'm going on this trip. Probably one of my first pictures was make sure you follow me because that's where all the silly stuff's going to happen. You're going to hear about all the updates. You're going to see us, you know goofing off, getting down on the dance floors with our cowboy boots on. So the stuff that, hey, maybe I'm not gonna share it 
on my regular social media stream, but if you're lucky enough to follow me over here, you're gonna see the goofy stuff. So we can take these stories that we create and use them to bring people over. Um, yeah, so like make it enticing, like she said. Like, well, why, I, I saw another coach say, well, I'm gonna be having my baby soon. If you want to see all the stuff that's going on, I'm going to be sharing it on Snapchat. So like, think of things like that. Like I'm going to be going, doing this, whatever. I'm going to be on Snapchat and don't just do this one. Like if you're set on using it, which I highly suggest that you do, um, you know, don't just share it once I'm on Snapchat. Cause we all know like people don't see stuff. So I like almost every day will put like PS find me on Snapchat. And I've even, I've even gone so far cause some people have no idea what Snapchat is. And I'll post like a YouTube link of how to use Snapchat that I just like randomly found, which you guys should randomly find as well and, and figure this out. Um, in order to get the stories, like, like Carrie was saying to create like a little video, the new thing is called Snapchat memory. Memories. memories so you're gonna have to learn how to use that now in order to download basically a way of downloading the stories um, yeah they made it a little more confusing but there's more ways that you can utilize Snapchat. yeah again we're going through the basics yeah. on how to use it for your business um so google it on how to figure that out um so we talked about how you want to publish everything to my story so everyone can see it but that originally I was saying it's kind of like sending a text message. You can send stuff to original people or individual people or a group of people. So I mentioned that when I was going to Nashville, I had made a snap that said, hey, a lot of fun stuff's gonna be going down. Make sure you keep following me here. So what I did is I went and I posted that to my story so everyone can see it. But then I also went through and individually um, sent that to a bunch of people because maybe they didn't check their snap feed but at least now they got this individual notification and they're like, oh, I better keep checking in because I'm not going to get every single snap. Don't send every single snap to everyone you know. If it's something, crazy. yeah, if you, if there's <laughs> something that you want to make sure that people see, then you could send it individually, which too is kind of cool because I'm not going to be one of those people on Facebook that messages somebody, you know, stuff or tags people and stuff. But on Snapchat, like it's, People expect that. They expect someone to snap them. I'm sure they'd probably get happy if they were to see something from you. I don't know. I get excited. Once if it relates to them, yeah, maybe. Yeah, if it relates to them. Um, but for the most part, we're talking about how to put main stories out there. But in this situation, when I knew I had stuff that I wanted to make sure people saw, yeah, I tagged people. And I was like, make sure you keep following because you're going to love what's coming up. Um, so that was a great way to entice people to make sure that they were checking in. Um, People can snap you, they can, there's a way like on, um, anytime a snap, like let's say someone's looking through mine and they want to comment on something, they'll see where they could tap and it'll say that they can send me a snap. And I could say, hey, snap me, like I could ask a question and be like, snap me back your answer to whatever, whatever. So you could say stuff like that to them too or write it. But it's, it's pretty easy. Like you could see where it says to do it. You, you just got to touch the screen. Just swipe up. I, I just got it. For example, this morning, I, um, instead of just saying, oh, good thing I've got, you know, my quick shake on the way out the door, I always find a different way to show how my Shakeology fits into my day. And I know call it Shakeology every time. Um, but this time I actually did one of those you know, stacks of stories that showed the whole process. So it was my blender bottle, right? And, or my um, Nutribullet blender. And the first picture was my banana. The second picture was a video of me putting the water in the cup. The next was my scoop of Shakeology, my green. So each picture was a stage of building my shake and then a finished product at the end. And people, when they got to the finished product, a number of people swiped up and said, yum, or, you know, are you bringing me mine? Or where's mine? Are you going to make that for me every day? So they have a way to respond, you know, and make a quick comment. So it's a great way to either ask for interaction, like Tatiana was saying, um, you know, or just to kind of, some people like that function and it's fun to kind of see what kind of feedback you get and to start a conversation back and forth that way. I, I just had someone snap me. I posted a picture of a new mug that I got, and someone wrote on that snap, like she messaged me with it and said she made a comment on it. And then I wrote her back. Make sure you write back to people too, of course. Um, the other way that people utilize is like video diary diaries. 
okay? So instead of the my story via pictures, here's what I bought at the grocery store, here's how I built my salad, it's more telling a story. So maybe it's a diary of, you know, what's going on in your day or something you've got coming up or just some thoughts. So Tatiana was saying she left this, this workshop today, the seminar, and she heard these great things motivational stuff about the five people you surround yourself with. And she just made a quick video diary. Now the thing different than making like a true video into one of our groups is it runs out after 10 seconds. So you basically do your selfie video, right? And it's, hey everyone, I just wanted to touch base after this event that I went to and give you some tips. Boom, your 10 seconds is up, you post it and you go right back in. So, these words just totally hit me and they're so true to what we deal with every single day. Boom, 10 seconds is up, move on to the next one. Tip one, blah, blah, blah. Tip two, tip three. You know, four or five posts probably if you're telling some kind of story, your final one. So like I said, now go out and rock it, right? Some type of summary to pull it all together. Careful whether you're giving tips or whether you're just doing a diary of your day, what's going on. Don't get too wordy. You've got 10 second blocks. If you just start to say, okay, so it's time for me to do my workout and oh my God. But first I had to clean up cat puke, but now I'm really into it. And so, oh, I'm going to do this one video. And I don't know if I mentioned that we did this before at our thing and it's the same one. Now it's getting wordy, right? I've lost it. And now I'm just, I haven't gotten to my point. I'm taking 10, 12 snap videos to finally get to that point when all I'm trying to do is say, hey, time for me to get my workout out. Here's what I'm doing. Ooh, quick chance to promo. Yeah, and without being too direct, like, hey, it's a body program. Here's what I'm doing. All right, you go at it too. So a little insight, maybe something about the cat puke. Shoot, I had to clean that up because it was right where I needed to work <laughs> out. But don't get too wordy don't stretch it out too long because i know i've watched people's videos and i'm like all right and i'm hitting through it like and then finally i might swipe and pass by them all together because they've lost my interest so kind of plan out beforehand you want to be able to freestyle and say here's what's up but keep it concise here's what i'm going to tell you here it is here's the way it's going to relate to you you know the Maybe the funky thing that happened in life, so it's not just a perfect commercial. And then wrap it up and be done with it. Four or five snaps max because and, people are going to get bored. Yeah, and just so you know, like if, if you do mess up, you don't have to post that one. You could X out of it and then redo it. But yeah, just, just so you know. Just like a picture. Yeah. It gives you a chance before you post it. So you do your video. You realize you didn't get the final words in before the 10 seconds was up. You're like, wait, okay, let me retry. Exit out, redo, post. No big deal. Um, and I think the f my final point, unless we realize we missed something else, is stay positive. Don't let this be, especially with the video diary side, a way to vent your frustrations. You want to be you. You want to be real. But just like everywhere that we post social media, we want to be real and we want to be able to say, oh, I can't believe I cat puked again. I can't believe I keep using that example, but I just dealt with cat puked before I came over here. So it's not fresh on my mind. Um, but just like everything else we do, turn it around, show the positive, because if people know that when they turn into our story, all they're going to hear is, oh, whoa, poor, woe is me, blah, blah, depressing, they're going to stop following you or they're going to swipe past you and get onto something that's going to give them some, give you some value or give them some value. So really quick, remember, you're going to want to stay consistent with this, right? Because you do want to stay at that top spot for the most part. I mean, you don't want to do a bazillion snaps, but, you know, try definitely throughout the day so that you're up there. So people are like, Oh, you know, I, I want to see what she or he put. Um, the other thing, make sure you are inviting constantly to Snapchat because that's the only way that you're going to get people to follow you. And that's important. Um, and calls to action. So you're doing a lot of value. Make sure you have calls to action. Make sure you are showing the day in the life of what you're doing because people are going to get interested in that just by you sharing that. Um, I really like Kara from the Champagne Diet. I think that she does an amazing job of getting people interested in like everything that she does. So that's just someone that I, that I follow. I just think she does a really good job 
I am her target market. So that's, that's why. Um, Shanti, I know someone wrote, I do watch his too. He does, he does a, he does a good job. I don't, I mean, he doesn't really have a lot of calls to action because you just know who he is and what he does, but make sure that you are doing calls to action. Super important to whatever it might be to your, again, a Facebook group, to a Facebook post. I just, I did a snap today and I said, I'm going to have something about this. I took a picture of me on the couch and I said, I'm going to have a, a post about me, why this something about my couch. I don't know. So it's going to get people to go over there. And then again, I'll post and be like, it's up. You know, I'll do a picture and say it's up or something like that. So um, I think that's all. And then we wanted to say this. Um, okay, so if you haven't, this is going to be confusing if you don't have it. But I'm going to preface this with, remember when you started your like page and it was really cool to see how many people were actually seeing your posts? And who, yeah, it's frustrating too. Mm -hmm. But how many times maybe a video has been watched if you've ever posted that? There's also a way to see how many people are viewing your snaps. So if you have Snapchat, and if you want to pull it up, so usually when you go in the main screen is the camera, right? <laughs> so to the right, there's three little dots. That brings you to the whole feed of everyone's updates, but it also shows you what you've been doing. So in the upper right-hand corner at the top, you'll see my story, and there's three little dots all the way to the right. And when you do that, it expands down all of the posts that you've made. You can see on the right, if you've got this up, you see like an eyeball with a number next to it. That's how many people have seen your post. So I can actually go into it and I see it kind of blanks out what my post was. So I can see in the background. So I remember, and now I can see the names and scroll through of who has seen it, which is actually kind of cool. So I know who is reaching, who's checking it, um, which is kind of a neat way to touch base and make sure that people are tuning in and seeing you know what what's going on in your life there's also a little double arrow picture on it which shows you who screenshot it that's really only important if you're afraid of creepers or <laughs> if you're putting something out that's like hey snap the or screenshot the next screen um for a link but yeah keep that in mind if you ever screenshot something people know so if it's just because you think some guy's cute <laughs> they're gonna find out that you uh does it say you screenshotted that. it though yes oh it does Oh, okay. <laughs> I yes, it does. That, yes, it does. So it keeps you safe from all the creepy stuff. Um, um, and you can block people if you need to and all that. Yeah, I had to block. I, I only have, I've only had one so far. I had to block. But um, do you guys have any questions? I just have one question. So I've had a lot of guys, um, I guess, add me because, you know, you put it out. I put it out in face. I put it out on Instagram before stories. So they can obviously see like anything unless I remove them, right? Okay. Are you guys not worrying about that? I'm, I'm not, not putting anything out there that I don't yeah. want everyone to see. Um, if something is, if I was, if I had children and I was uncomfortable sharing my children, I wouldn't share them yeah. anywhere on social media, for example. Maybe I'd have a, a private page that was just for my family and I would keep that stuff off. If I was putting something that was a little revealing. I was just curious. I'm making that choice to put it out there to begin with. You know, if it's a before and after and I'm in just a bikini, um, same thing. Like on Instagram, if you're going to put that on Instagram, the same people are going to see it and you might end up with the same creepers and you can block them and... There is spam now with Snapchat. I've gotten a couple inappropriate messages that you can tell are like computer generated spam stuff. Um, but I haven't had any real issues. issues. Okay. All right. Thanks. But yeah, I mean, you just kind of have to use your own judgment on what you put out there. And if it's something that you're just sending to one person, just send it to that one person. Don't accidentally also hit my story. Any other questions? Again, for the techie stuff, um, I can post a couple of videos that I watched, but it, I, it's really not difficult once you just do it, of course, right? Once you take action and start doing it, it's going to be like, you're just going to be doing it all the time. And I don't think it takes long at all because it really is just what you're doing. Like, I'm not taking 
10 minutes to prep for a video and to do a video, like I'm literally just doing it throughout my day. So it's not taking t a lot of time for me at all. And, and you, you can't feel. overthink it because yeah. you can't put more than like a line and a half of text. Yeah. So there's exactly. no story. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. this is not your place to put a bunch of, you know, your whole story. If you put three snaps in a row of you doing a video diary of your story, that's not the venue for it. You know, maybe say, Hey, I, I love sharing my story. You know, da, 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 da. if you hop over to my face, you could send people back the other way. I just did a live stream video where I really got yeah. raw and real and you can send them back that way to hear the whole story. Um, but I think the, the keys are be consistent, allow yourself to be raw and real. Remember, this is a quick snapshot. And it's not about having perfect hair and all that. My ugliest pictures go on Snapchat because it's like, you know, this is me. This is what I've got on right now. Boom, this is my life. Um, but think, like, if you were following someone, what would you like to know about their life? So don't share every – Amy Silverman's on vacation right now, and I'm kind of annoyed with her Snapchat because it's, like, too much of here's more pictures of the drunk tourists. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, you lost your value. Usually she's cool to follow. Right now it's like enough. And I'm not even following her while she's on vacation. So, so keep that in mind that, yeah, it's fun to be like, hey, here's my kids in the park and they're swinging on the swings and now they're swinging on the swings again and now they're on the slide. Like maybe like, oh, fun day out because I have this freedom. But take a video and share it with your family if you want the whole experience because this is just a quick snippet. Yep. And, and what I, I was doing for a bit because success leaves clues is I was, I was just following people that I was staying, like I was wanting to look at, look at their stuff and see what they were doing. So, you know, study these people and what they're doing and see how they are doing their calls to action and how they're doing it in such a way that it really makes you want to do it. And it doesn't look salesy at all. I feel like this is so not salesy. That's why I love it. Like, I love it. I don't get that feeling at all because I know I'm giving so much. So, I mean, I do anyway, but I, I don't know why this just, do you want to talk about this? Because I'm not. Why do this instead of Instagram stories? That question? Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so we kind of said at the beginning that we weren't really going to go into comparing, but let me just say this. They are basically the same thing and how they work and how they deliver a message. Instagram stories goes to every single one of your Instagram followers. So yes, there's potential for more, more viewership right off the bat, but you're also seeing there's a lot more to sort through. If you started to see all these stories, it's like if you follow Target, you're going to get their updates. Like it's less specific into what you're looking for because it's everyone that you follow and therefore you're mixed in as well, um, you know, with everyone that they're seeing that they follow. Pro and con, right? Lots of viewership, not as specific because they didn't necessarily choose to follow like on Snapchat. They really want to sneak peek into your life. So right now I'm posting on both. I'm still like, I'm in a habit of Snapchat. So that's just what I go to, but I'm making a couple posts on Instagram every day. Just so, cause again, you can see how many people have viewed it. Um, just to kind of see what type of response it gets with Instagram stories being so new, no one knows yet which one is going to win. You know, Periscope was the way to do live feed. And then Facebook said, we're going to make this really easy and we're going to put it right on Facebook. So, Periscope didn't really make it. So now Facebook, they own Instagram. Now they're trying to do that to Snapchat. If we put this service right on something that we already have people on, maybe we'll knock Snapchat out. But that's still to be seen. So it doesn't mean get rid of one, you know, put all your efforts in the other. We don't have the answer yet. And based on who your target market is, it could be different for everyone. So there's no real answer yet on which one you should be doing. So I say play around with both. Um, get a feel for both, but the concepts that we explained, how to be not too lengthy in your story, but show your whole day and give a message and give call to actions and show that you're living the lifestyle that you promote, you know, and that you're trying to encourage people to join in on, those concepts still apply, which, you know, depending on which um, platform you're using, the concepts are still there. And that's just kind of the content of this call. So, um, you know, we'll probably get more into the, the battle of which one versus which one in the next month or so as we see how things shuffle out. But, um, you know, it's hard to say 
right now. Yeah, but Shaleen Johnson did do a uh, live video on her Facebook page, on her like page about it. So if you want, you know, you could check that out. But this really is on how to use this stuff to benefit you, right? To to show you how to um, get people to you know we have to get right. your stuff or whatever. Turn on everyone away. All right, okay. So cool. now I took a picture, right? I can add words, I could circle something. Easy. Picture, like four words, boom, it'll be added, added to my feed pretty soon. Um, so, yeah. Isn't that what like everyone does at Summit? They have to like take a selfie, so we have to do yeah. Snapchat. Yeah. So, any other questions? I love it. Like, I feel like this was made for me. Because I, I love sharing all of this stuff. It's easier for me than having to like, like right now I'm in the background and I'm like, oh, now I have to do this Facebook post. It's like, you know, so I like this because it's, you're, you're getting the real me and everything and what I do. Because people are always like, what do you actually do? Well, now you get to see exactly what I do every single day. So it's cool. I don't think there was anything else. Do we have a call to act? We need a call to action for this. We do. Oh, yeah. Just ask right here. I don't know, Apple. Mm -hmm. um, so call to action for this is? Huh. If you haven't downloaded Snapchat or if you haven't looked into Instagram, my story yet, do it. Again, you don't have to master every social media platform out there. But if you heard Gary Vaynerchuk talk, he was like, don't sit back and wait for everyone else to do it and miss the boat either. So at least get on, give it a shot, play around, figure out how to take a picture, figure out, people always wanna know how you put those funky filters on your face. All you do is like literally, once the camera is on you, you press your face and you hold it until this like grid mark comes up on your face. And then you can scroll through these filters and a lot of them say like, open your mouth and a rainbow is gonna come out. Random stuff like that. Play around with it, post some silly stuff, even if you just send, even if you just connect with one person on there and you send them a couple snaps. Um, but at least get yourself familiar. So when we do reconvene, you know, when you do have a chance to chit chat with your success partner or anything like that, you can say, okay, I played around with this. What do you know? And let's figure out really how to, how to work it. Um, find a few people to, to follow and see what they're doing. Success leaves clues, yeah. right? Yep. So, so that's what maybe I maybe find, you know, mine is just my full name, Carrie Heinlein, C-A-R-R-I-E-H-I-N-E-L-I-N-E. -I, -E -I, -E. I didn't make it difficult. So it's really, really easy to search. Is yours Tatiana, Tatiana Miko? Miko. Tatiana, Tatiana, Tatiana Miko. Miko. You can make follow. It easy. Someone posted Sean T's. I think it was like Sean T's Snapchat or something like that. It was in the notes somewhere. Um, but most, most entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs and social media, you know, famous people, have a Snapchat and they post that somewhere on their page to say, here's how to follow me. So find people that you already gravitate towards. Shanti Fitness. Okay. Um, find people that you already gravitate towards and follow and see what they're doing. Just hop onto their website, find them, look them up and start following them and seeing, see how they're utilizing it and how they're showing value. Um, but at least get on there and play around with it and give it, give it a chance. Cool. All right. Have a great night. <laughs> Thanks it? for coming on, guys. All right. Bye. Good night.